The European Championship is run to gold. Knocked off two-time world champ okay. Frank Chimizo. Sorry. Took out Kinchadze. Then he followed with a win against Russia's Zamalov. So he's been in these moments here in this year. Dake for the United States in the red, white, and blue. The blue singlet for Sal Kazanov. The U.S. missed an opportunity for gold at 61. Will Dake put them on the board for the first time at 74? Sal Kazanov with a little reset, pushes Dake backwards. If he does that a couple more times, he's going to look to push Dake and then change his level. Dake is uncanny ability to wrestle right here from his knees. It looks like he's off balance, but he holds position so well from that level change position. Yeah, that's his comfort position, no doubt. Tough to score, takes away the, the lower half, relies on his upper bodies and his hands. His ties, his snap down, so potent. Sal Kazanov, really great at pulling down on that head. Now in an overhook position, Dake in that double underhook position. Salkazanov grounds himself. Dake able to lift him up. We'll see if they give one for the step out. And they do. Dake able to pull him out from the ground, pull him up to his feet and get one point for the step out. Dake with those double underhooks is deadly. Lifts, does like a bicep curl and pulls Salkazanov up to his feet. That was beautiful. Approaching the halfway point of the first period, the step out has been it so far. Dake with a one nothing lead. Nice snap down by Sakazanov. Referee saying blue contact. He wants Sakazanov to get his hands on Dake. Coach Zadek saying, yeah, keep it up, pulling with that left hand. It's the offside of, the, of his lead leg. So he has that left leg back, and he's using that left hand to really pull the head down of Salkazanov. Did you see how Dake reached in and got inside control there with his elbow down, able to block Salkazanov from taking an attack? Well done. First verbal warning given to Slovakia. Next time they stop it, he will get put on the clock. 40 seconds to go in this period. Dake with a one nothing lead. We've seen this position. Dake working from those knees, working his way back up to his feet. He's been able to keep Sal Kazanov from getting to where he wants to offensively. Dake with that left, uh, left arm lead, heavy collar tie. Pressure on the neck of Sal Kazanov. Now Sal Kazanov, momentum building toward the edge as Dake goes tumbling onto the second mat. And the step out point awarded. So kind of a brief surge right there from Sal Kazanov to even it up. Sal Kazanov was explosive. Dake had come left hand and a right, right hand. He was trying to reach cross grain to the ankle. It was a counter attack from Sal Kazanov as he was able to, to push in right away and, and get the one point step out. All right, Brian, as the two go into the corners, let's get your three-minute takeaway so far. I think Sal Kazanov kind of led the position with attacks. Dake was keeping him at bay with his hands. If Dake is going to come back here and win the second period, he's going to need some solid attacks. He does that really nice high single, that, that nice little pull swing single. I, I think he's going to need to pull the head down of Sal Kazanov to go to maybe a chest wrap position, which he's really good at. Salkazanov has kept him at bay and made the better attacks at this point. Dake, the only Olympic Tokyo medalist entered at this weight here at the World Championships of 74 kilos. There's that little pull of the head down. He did a nice job of going with a fake shot, pulls down to a front headlock, and he Comes in with a second attack. Salkazanov came straight up, but was able to defend Dake's shot well. Kyle Dake tried to go low. Salkazanov cut it off. Two wrestlers disengage. Back into the center they go. Kyle Dake has the uncanny ability. He doesn't take a really deep penetration step, but is able to drop to his knee and pull 
South Casanova's over top of him. Wasn't able to get to the deep attack, but that position is, is uh, pretty beautiful. Criteria with Sal Kazanov, tied at one. Two minutes to go, second period, straight on blast, and Dake steps out of bounds, and Sal Kazanov with a two to one lead. Again, that high level attack is able, he doesn't really look to score a takedown on Dake, because Dake's really difficult to score on. He's just looking to get him to the edge for those step out points. One at a time, he's gaining a lead, and Oh, beautiful pull position. Let's see if Dake goes body lock here. Here's where Dake has made his money. Strong in that upper body, and he crumbles down the Slovakian. And for the first time, Dake has the lead. Goes immediately into the wrench. Dake has been able to turn the opponents here in Oslo. Can he do it from the first time on top? No, as Sal Kazanov dodges a bullet. Sal Kazanov dodged a bullet when he just gave up the take and not the throw, because that power twist that Dake was doing from from his body lock, he's been known to go straight back with that thing for four. Well, Sal Kazanov is gonna need two. He, he's been able to get the two step out points, but that won't do him any good now. He's gonna have to get the two with that last two pointer from Dake. Right, just at one minute to go here in the match. Dake wants to keep his backside to the center as Sal Kazanov has taken off on those attacks as Dake was not on, was, was had his back to the edge. Still lots of time for Sal Kazanov, down three to two. Dake, looking for his third world championship and the first this year for the United States. And the first at an Olympic weight as well. He was at 79, which was a non-Olympic weight. And the, the weight classes were a little bit smaller then. Beautiful inside reach by Dake. Unbelievable step. And look at him go right to the chain. Right to the turn. Back into the wrench. Yeah, that transition is where he's great and he's such a smart wrestler. But hopefully we get to see that position again where he pushed. Sal Kazanov pushed in just a little bit. He dropped at the bottom out of it. Took an inside reach and beautiful attack by Dake to go up seven to two. Yeah, his transition is as fast and seamless as you can possibly get after securing the takedown and then going to his patented wrench like we saw. And the United hey, States hey, 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 is on the board. Stop, 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 stop. A hard fought hey. battle at 74 kilos. And Kyle Dake is gonna get the job done for the US. For the third time in his career, he is a world champion. He's done it now at two different weights. Twice at 79 and now at 74. Dake is really known for winning titles in different weight classes as he now did it in folk style in college for Cornell where he won four national titles at four weights. Now, two world titles at two different weights. Instead of moving up though, he moved down a weight class from 79 to 74 and a great world title for Kyle Dake. What a two month stretch for Dake.